This is Mega King Kong. He can walk. He can swim. He is the king of the monkeys. And for whatever reason, I've come to the decision today <laughs> we're going to fight him. <laughs> oh, this is going to be bad. But what do we need to know about old Mega King Kong? Firstly, he wields a whopping 720,000 health. He wields three attacks. First and most prominent is launching a massive bowl of poop at you. And if you're not paying attention, you're pretty much going to get one shot. His second attack, rather than a giant ball of poop, it's a spear. Also hits incredibly hard, but luckily for us, we will not be covered in fecal matter after the fact. And third and final is the one that I am most scared about, summoning the ape army. When he lets out his war cry, he summons in his minions, and these guys move quick, and they deal a ton of damage, and they're really, really, really pesky little buggers. But despite all of that, today, <laughs> I hope to overcome all of those difficulties and take this big fella down. We just got a few things we got to get in line beforehand. Now, you're probably wondering, Miola, why? Why are we facing Mega King Kong today? Well, as you probably know by now, I'm currently working on my new base. And that's all going well. I'm not going to go and unveil anything right now. I'll, I'll share it with you soon. Don't you worry. But I feel like for it to reach its true potential, I need access to tech structures. I need access to tech armor. I just want access to tech goodness. And unfortunately, he is the gatekeeper of the tech. You see, killing Mega King Kong not only unlocks the tech replicator allowing us to craft up this stuff but it also unlocks the tech transmitter unlocking the entire island's dinosaurs well the knowledge of their locations it means i can hunt i can track down dinosaurs and i can know exactly where they are from now on so basically i i need this i really really need this oh and that's without stating the obvious i've got this brand spanking new prime manticore here that i feel like might actually have what it takes to take the thing down the thing is we need to go in adequately prepared now what does that involve exactly lots of health potions the right pick me on my shoulder and that's probably about it to be honest the question is though so who's it gonna be? Who is our best bet to throw on our shoulder? Obviously, our little Dodi Curious here is probably a good shot. He gives us a 30% damage buff. You know, it could mean the difference between life or death. If we get hit by a ball of poop, get hit by a spear, or get bombarded by a little army of flying bat monkeys. <laughs> He might make all the difference. But I guess it's not all about that. You see, there is another pygmy that can help us out here. And unfortunately, it's one that I don't... Wait a second. I just remembered I've got some things in my inventory. I got these two. I've got two pygmy summoning fa uh, artifacts right here. I could just... All right. Well, here's what I was thinking. The RG. The RG. Uh, stamina. It's going to keep our stamina fully charged while we're fighting, which means I don't need to stop and become vulnerable while I let my stamina recharge. And, you know, I, basically it leaves us less vulnerable to begin getting, blah, 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 by getting hit by attacks. Man, I'm just getting excited right now because I thought I was going to have to go and tame an RG. But no, we don't need to do that because I can just do it. Yes. That was a long shot. I didn't expect it, but yes, we've got an RG. What's the second one, actually? We got double RGs. Yo. Oh, I'm getting it evolved, baby. Oh, that is so good. That is so good. All right, let me grab. We got so many treats now as well. Ever since this guy here evolved up, we have been killing crazy dinosaurs, dragons, manticores, all the fun stuff, but the stronger variants, of course. Um, you know what? I'll, I guess I'll split the treats. That way we've got like twice the chance of actually getting these guys evolved. And then, well, oh, that's one failure. What about my boy on the left? Double failures. Okay. Not a great start, but that's okay. We've got two shots, six shots. I just don't... Okay, well, there's not. Okay, there's another double failure. Oh, come on, guys. Which of you... Come, like, I should put something on the line here, hey? Whichever one of you evolves first gets to come with me. Well, it's not the guy on the right, and it's not the guy on the left. All right, we need more treats. Maybe you would prefer some red ones. And then if you don't like the red ones, I'll give you... Actually, maybe... Let's have a look, okay? You can have the red ones. Let's see what the RGs like more. Red or purple? All right, now. <laughs> we already got... Yes! Oh, I guess it was red. Red was the answer. And now what does that do for us? It gives us a... Wow, that is a low 
Okay, well, purple was the answer to, I guess. What could I say? Uh, that's a really low level Apex RG. That is disappointing. But hopefully this guy here can give us something a little bit better than that. 855, that's much better. That is so much better. Well, buddy. Ah, uh, gosh, now I actually need to decide who we're going to take. So here is the, like, direct comparison to what we're dealing with here. We've got the Pygmy Dirty Curious. It gives you up to 30% uh, defense buff based on the level of the Dirty Curious. We're going to get 30%. Buff. That's that's all you need to know. We could also go looking for a King Kong. They will give us about a 10 to 12% damage buff. The Argentavis gives us a 7.5 plus 1.75. So it works out to about an 11% damage buff, an 11% defense buff. But also, I believe if we hop in here, it gives us stamina generation during battle, which basically means that it will keep my stamina chucked up. It's going to be you. We're taking you. We're taking you. And being a pretty high level, I'm hoping it's enough to get me over the line. We don't have any chibis that we can equip in our offhand to help us out, unfortunately. We do, however, have unstable kibble here. And this stuff here will give my team a 25% increase to its melee as well as its size so it makes us a bigger target but it also means we can do more damage which means hopefully we can take king kong down a little bit quicker which brings us to the last step and that is health potions now we are going to need we're going to need health potions i don't know how long this battle is going to carry on but i'd rather be over prepared than under prepared and unfortunately we're going to have to sacrifice quite a bit of these prime kibbles to make this happen but we've got a lot of kibble now so i guess it's not the end of the world that we craft up a few of these things and if we use them all we use them all if we don't use them all we'll use them at some stage well there we have it we've got the kaiden armor on that's going to give us an extra Speed buff, stamina buff, and damage buff, and maybe a defense buff as well, if I remember correctly. We'll get our Raji on our shoulder, which is going to buff our damage dealing and nerf our damage receiving. And we've got this guy ready for the fight, I hope. Which means there's only one thing left for us to do, and that's go and uh, initiate the battle. <laughs> We're going to fire the first shot. Let's go. Now, I just need to locate the bugger because in case you are unaware of how this whole system works, they do not unload from the map. No matter where I am, they are always moving. They're always walking. They're always roaming. And uh, this guy here, I'm pretty sure has been all over the map. He's been everywhere. In fact, I'm pretty sure he walked here from my base. Now, if we had access to a tech transmitter, the same tech transmitter that I'm hoping this guy unlocks for us, uh, it would be a piece of cake to find this giant gorilla. But unfortunately, we don't have that yet. But hopefully by the end of the today, we do. I saw him roaming over here before, so I wonder if he ended up over at the volcano or up the volcano because we've also seen him scaling mountains at times. No, but there is a bunch of... What are these guys called again? Thorny dragons. Oh, there he is. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey what are you doing over here? <laughs> What are you doing in the volcano, mate? This is a long way from home for you. Well, look, I, I can't buy much more time, can I? Uh, we've, 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 like, that. This is, this is really it. All I need is this. Um, our stamina is all charged up. We've got our RG on our back. We've got our health potions in our hot bar. We have Mega King Kong directly in front of us. All that's left to do is to fire the shot. Okay, there is a Titan eel down here. <laughs> what? Uh, I haven't seen one of these before. It's consuming me. Okay, maybe I... Sh okay, yeah. Wow. All right. I'm glad I just spotted this going on behind me because that is going to limit my speed. And I need my speed to be at 100% if we are going to initiate this battle. Wow, 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 wow. Um, I wonder how close... All right. Yeah, I got to stay basically out of range of whatever that lightning block oh, i'm so tempted to actually have a look in the water oh this better not go wrong but let me just quickly am i even going to be able to see that deep all right hold on let's have a look no i can't see it's, it's too dark all right that's cool whatever it is what it is i don't need it i don't need to see it i don't need to see it all i need to do is avoid it so I'm staying away from Titan Eel territory, I guess. Well, guys, I got some good news and I got some bad news. Let's start with the good news. Uh, my dude here has moved away, thankfully, from the Titan Eel. So that will no longer be an issue trying to dodge that. So that's great. I can move around at full speed and we don't need to be like in danger to his little monkey friends. But the bad news is far worse than the good news. And the bad news is that my dude here has been powered up by the Titan Overlord and now has fast HP regeneration and is extra quick. Now, only one 
one of those two things really matters, and that's the HP regeneration. But um, I'm thinking we still give this a shot, and um, let's just, let's, you know what? I'm just going to do it. It's going to do it. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. We'll just throw what we've got at him and cross our fingers and hope it goes according to plan. So let's go. <laughs> let's do this thing. We at least we do mega damage. And as long as we evade the monkeys. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Okay. I completely forgot that these guys are going to really be distracting to us. And my guy here is going to heal in the meantime. That was a really dangerous dive bomb that I just did. I really shouldn't have done that. But as long as I feel like we... Oh, he's quick too, isn't he? <laughs> All right, he got a hit on me. Something got a hit on me. I just caught 20,000 damage from something or other. All right, we got to actually be careful. I'm being really, really reckless here. I am dropping health potions in. Not my really, really good ones just yet, but just the regular whatever ones. All right, and I need to just pepper hits in before he summons in his little minions again. And I tell you what, my RG is doing what my RG is meant to be doing. Um, and this guy here, just please don't summon any minions anytime soon because I'm dealing really good damage. I'm dealing really, really, really good damage. I am really worried about one thing though, and I haven't really brought this up. A lot of the dinosaurs in this, man, we are absolutely obliterating him. He's actually running. I was going to say, oh my gosh, we've actually got him on the run. Hold on. We actually got him on the run. We've actually got him on the run. I didn't know the Megas will flee. Hold on. He stopped. No, he hasn't. He's still running. Um, I have a concern. My concern is that... Oh, gosh. Here we go. Um, we're good. We're good. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's just take a little breather. Let's just take a little breather. We're out running his little dudes. But I need to do more damage. And I'm kind of lagging a bit, which is really, really annoying. But he's down to like a quarter of a million. And I'm really low on stamina, though. Okay. All right. Here's the plan. Outrun these dudes and try and get some heals in. All right. Come on. They got to despawn any second, surely. Surely. What my concern was going to be... Oh my gosh, that poop. All right, I'm just... Okay, they're despawned. They're despawned. I had a worry. Okay, you know what? Stuff you. Let's go. I need to keep that damage up. Also, flame damage is really helpful too. My concern was though that once he gets down below a certain amount of health, he was going to... Um, I don't know. Maybe power up a little bit because a lot of dinosaurs do that. The Manticore and Dragon that we fought yesterday did that. Oh, stamina is scaring the living daylights out of me. He's running though. I just can't keep up with him when I'm on low stamina like this and he's healing up ridiculously. He's got his minions back. All right, I've got like two seconds to... Yep, okay, I was going to say, I got a few seconds here to gain stamina before I got to outrun these guys. So I'm just going to run for my life. <laughs> but this is going so much better than I'd imagined. Also, these guys are kind of catching me. Uh, I feel like they're catching me at least. Okay, that's kind of weird. Oh, I just flew like straight across them. Oh my gosh. All right, I had my angles so wrong just then. Um, I don't know where Gorilla's gone. He's got... Oh, okay. I saw the poop. I saw the poop flying. His bats though. They're, 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 doing a, they're doing a good job of trying to keep up. All right. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. My guy here's probably full health. He has recovered 100,000, but I've recovered stamina too. So that's nice. Okay. He threw his spear, but he missed. He's, oh my gosh. He's moving so quick. I can't... Oh, okay, that was close. All right, that was... Oh, my gosh, he's down to 130,000. Oh, he's down. I'm going to... Okay, I'm so going to butcher this. I'm so going to ruin this. All right, the right hit will... Okay, please don't summon your minions. He summoned his minions. Of course, he summoned his minions. Okay, I'm just dropping health pots just, just in case here. I don't know. Maybe it'll help my stamina. <laughs> um, Because right now, that is a concern. But we got him below 100,000 damage, man. We actually are doing stuff. We're doing things. All right, I'm just... These bats aren't too bad. I'm not going to lie. But still, if they hit me, I'm probably still going to re regret getting hit by them. <laughs> so I'm kind of just evading. I'm playing evasions. They've despawned. My guy hasn't healed up a whole lot either. Nice. Nice. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe we're actually... Oh, uh, uh, he's down below 40,000. He's at 40,000. I can't believe... Oh, he's down to 5,000. Yes! <laughs> oh, we actually did it. Oh my gosh, my heart is pulsing. Oh, I was so ready to... Oh, I thought we were choking that. I thought we were choking so darn hard. All right, I need to land. Oh, I need to land. Oh my gosh. Look at the... Ooh! 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 
My gosh. Okay, look at the loot. Look at this loot. I don't even know what half of this stuff is, but okay, let's start from the top because we have so much to unpack here. We have huge King Kong feces. I don't know what that's used for. We got a whole chunk of meat. We've got English jewels. We've got mental legs. We've got the brains. We've got a we've got English brains. Alpha five fangs. We have five wild eyes. That's cool. We have alpha six claws. That's something better. Whatever. I should be five leaves. That's cool. Love stones. Alpha seven. We've got alpha heads. We've got a dragon stone. That's cool. Like one eye. We got a pygmy summoning artifact for a little pteranodon. We got a bunch of stuff I don't care about, but this is the main attraction, I think. An ancient gorilla prime summoning artifact. Oh, also, hey, Ascendant Docks Manticore X boots. This gives my dinosaur an extra 15% speed which is better than the ones I've got currently, but we don't have the full set, which means we won't get the full set buff. Oh my gosh, 112 exploding sniper bullets, flaming bullets as well, and a bunch, oh, tech grenades. But most importantly, guys, we got tech transmitter, tech replicator, tech force field, um, and that's all I really care about, a tech sleeping pod, so we can sleep comfortably in the new base as well as some tech foundations, but only of the triangular variety, it appears. Just the triangle ones. It doesn't want me having the square ones, apparently. That's that's a shame. Well, I think it goes without saying, I'm kind of shocked right now. <laughs> I mean, I hoped for a win. Did we get through that without a single hit? Because, like, being hit once, it kind of felt that way. But no, I dipped, like, too low to him at one point, and he actually got, like, a 19,000 damage knock on me. So that was a little bit scary. Um, other than that, that was cruisy as. I honestly thought something was going to change about midway through that fight, and he was just going to, like, switch on, like, annihilation mode and annihilate us. But thank Hopefully, that never came. Just quickly sorting through all of the drops that we just obtained. We uh, may as well drop this guy here and add him to our little pot. I should really just keep these guys stashed in inventories. That way, they're not, you know, not at risk of dying. Um, I'm literally just going to drop all of this stuff straight into here because I don't need it. I don't need any of this. We just smash it all up, including a lot of these darts and stuff. I don't need a lot of this, man. But... We have something pretty ridiculously awesome to check out. And that is this monkey summon that we got. An ancient monkey summon. I think we need to actually kill a mega gorilla to normally get this. The gorilla, ancient gorilla, requires a specific heart. I think you need the heart of a gorilla as well as mega gorilla bones. I don't have either of those. But guess what I do have? I've got a free ancient summon right here, right now. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Kaboom! <laughs> Ancient Pithecus Prime, baby. That's what I'm talking about. How strong is this guy? Because I feel like he is going to absolutely wreck. Oh, he's an angry looking boy too. He like glows in the dark, this guy. Boom! 2,350 damage. Right click. Throw a massive... That's a massive bit of damage right there. Oh, yes, indeed it is. Um, that is what I'm talking about. All right, if I want to get this guy, like, leveled up quick, let's go and throw our proper armor on. Oh, I can't believe we got this. This is a sick drop. <laughs> these guys are, these guys are, uh, you know, you're not meant to obtain these guys yet. You're meant to do a bit of grrr. I thought I just felt some rumbling, and I got a little bit scared for a second. Okay, I think we're okay. That actually scared the living daylights out of me. Actually, hold on. Hold on. I might have a saddle for him. Uh, Pithicus. I've got a Apex... Is he an Apex Pithecus? Ancient Pithecus. I, all right, we'll test out the saddle on him. What else was... Oh, my, my armor. That's what I was going to get. All right, for one, I'm going to drop that in there. Um, I need a cloth set of armor, please. And let's... Oh, yeah, the saddle, the saddle, the saddle. Yes! All right, he's got some armor. If I may say so, though, I do miss the crazy custom saddle that Zathara modeled for the um, Primal Fear mod. That that saddle is like a saddle. That saddle is freaking amazing. But anyways, let's go for a bit of a ground and pound. Now that we've got buffed out experience buffs. Dude, this guy's, this guy's move. He moves quick for a start. See attack. <gasps> we've got Yeti minions. I wonder how strong they are. I'm not really able to... I don't want to whistle their attack because if I do, it's possible that all my dinosaurs from my base are going to run over here and attack because we're still pretty close. So I just want to get like some distance between me and base. Um, but that is craziness. Oh, and we've got the X attack, which obviously allows us to summon in primes. I have had so many comments recently complaining that I don't summon enough primes and use my X attack very often. But guys, I, I, I know, I know, I know. I just don't, I don't know. I don't know why I don't feel the need. I guess I'm in the sky. Most primes that we summon are going to be on the ground. You know the drill. Um, should I just throw a rock at this guy? How hard are these rocks to aim? Not very, apparently. Oh my gosh, I just didn't 
annihilated that. Alpha Shadow Main X. Hey. <gasps> Alright, I wasn't trying to throw a rock at it. We actually need to tame some of these soon. So we can try and breed a mega. But um, okay, that's neither here nor there. Let's level my guy up and see how strong he gets. So you better believe we're gonna get him nice and healed, like you know, healthy. I want a lot of health on my guy here. That's that's nearly 200,000 damage uh, health. Oh my gosh. Um, as far as speed goes, I don't know. I don't know how fast my guy is going to need to be because like he's pretty quick naturally. And it's hard to kind of compare because he's a ground dinosaur. But I'll give him like a touch extra. Um, stamina. All right. Well, it depends who's on my shoulder. Right now, I've got no shoulder pet. I'm just going to ground and pound a few times just to see what happens. Our stamina is fine. It really is. How about if I just throw a bunch of rocks? Does that drain my stamina? Imagine how much damage you can output. Just, just draw. look at this. Look, I'm just, I'm just filling the sky with massive boulders right here. Yeah, okay, that's draining my stamina pretty quick. All right. Um, oh, you know what? Let's test out our minions while we're here as well. Let's get these guys in. Attack a Lebronto for me, guys. All right, they, they, they're not bad. I mean, there's a lot of them. That's probably their like. Wow. Okay, I didn't know there was. There's nine of them or eight of. Can I just count these little dudes real quick? How many of these guys have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm pretty sure there's nine. Yeah, there's one plus the extra eight, which is why they all like power themselves up. That is, that is craziness. Okay, that is craziness. Um, we still got 89 levels. All right, look, you know, we'll get our stamina up a touch just in case, you know? Also, why did, where did these guys just come from? Okay, that's kind of bizarre. Um, all right, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. You guys want to see it. I know you'll want to see it. Oh, the level is into melee damage also. Let me put my good armor on because that's going to go and give him extra buffs as well. And then he's going to get extra speed and extra stamina and all that stuff anyways. Yeah, okay, great, great. And the, yeah, the remaining 22 levels. Let me just balance this out with 10 levels. Uh, yep, the rest of them are going to go in melee damage. As simple as that. I don't know where all these guys are running to me from, but they're all running to me. Okay. Um, you know what, Shadow Mane? Hopefully you don't dismount me from my dinosaur, because I know Shadow Mane can do that, but 5,000 damage from a punch. What is poisoning me right now? Kind of bizarre also. Oh, I thought that was an egg. It's just a Dodecurus. Uh, that Dodecurus just got annihilated. Sorry, mate. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. We got anything else crazy up here that I can, like, punch on with? I'm pretty sure I've seen an Apex Pithecus up here recently. I'm pretty sure. Is that him here? Yeah, we can go and just punch an Apex Pithecus. I'm like his super evolved form too. Look how small and measly he is. Hey, brother, it's me. You're long. Oh, that actually, man, these guys hit kind of hard. Low. <laughs> hey, here we are trying to compare 5,000 damage to 37,000 damage on the same attack. Uh, this guy be kind of good. You guys see that? Oh, I thought it was a golden. I thought we had a golden dinosaur over there, but it's just one of those like energy things. So like, do we go and like test this guy against the prime? I should get some health potions onto him. All right. I don't really want to waste too much of my health potions, but oh, boom, destroy the tribe. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, look at the little hyena dump pack. This is payback for episode like two of the series where you guys killed me like seven times. Man, I don't even know what we're doing anymore. All I know is my dude here is an absolute machine. I'll tell you what I am kind of tempted to do though. Go and hunt down the other King Kongs because I'm pretty sure there's at least one or two more of them out there. Either that or we've just been spotting the same one all over the world. All over the... Wait. The whole reason I wanted to do that. It just it just reoccurred to me. <gasps> Wait a second. Hold on. I haven't... I haven't... I haven't learned the S plus variant just yet. Nor... <gasps> Wait a second. I just realized something else really, really bad. I don't have the generator, do I? I don't have... I don't have the tech generator unlocked. I can't power it. I can't power a transmitter. I can't, I can't do it. We can't use a transmitter yet. We're only one step of the way there. We've got the replicator. Um, but it, I, like, I can power the replicator. I don't know why I'm even gonna bother placing this here. I'm probably gonna remove this straight away. But we've got this. Yay. I can, I can do that. I can also go ahead and craft up a transmitter. Yeah, whippy, yippee, yay me. 
I don't know what you, yeah, but it's unpowered. I don't have any, I don't have any means to power this thing. Ah, this is, uh, this is something. This is something I was unprepared for. I decided to go and have a look at what we need to kill to get the tech generator unlocked. And the answer isn't pleasant. <sighs> I'm talking Mega Manticore. I'm talking Mega Eel. I'm talking Mega Reaper Queen. Those are the three options. They're the three dinosaurs that we can kill to unlock the tech generator. Um, yeah, I don't know if I can kill any of those yet. I, I certainly don't think I can. Damn. 